Right, here we are on the banks of a river in Staffordshire, and I'm here with uh, Richard Chapman, part of the Grayson Chubb Carp Academy. Now we're going to talk about setup today, Rich. Um, can you talk us through, you know, a little bit about what kit you've got with you, and, and, and why in particular you've got this kit with you today? Yeah. Um, right, Matt. I'll start with rods. Um, got the um, Scrays Ice Flex, uh, 12 foot three pound test curve. To be honest, I use them for pretty much all my fishing. Yeah. Um, I've never been a fan of kind of real heavy rods. Most of my fishing is done relatively short range, um, but to be honest with these, you can. I've, I've had cast measured 120 yards with the threes, which I'm never going to fish more than that in reality. And I assume that's with pretty sturdy line as well. Yeah, that's like it. 15 right pound line, kind of point four diameter, so it's not not real casting line or anything. So, so, so. it's a good sort of you know sort of mid range to sort of. You know, I wouldn't say distance rod, but it, it, it will put them a fair long way. Yeah, I see. If you need it, especially, especially yeah. chucking singles, you don't yeah. don't need it ridiculously heavy. Um, but yeah, three pound test curve, it covers pretty much everything. Yeah. Weedy waters, you've got enough enough backbone in it that that you can pull fish through weed. And obviously, ri rivers like this, you've got weed and, and all sorts of stuff coming down. So you do need need a bit of power on there. Um, but it's still fairly soft on the tip, so you can can play fish. It's not drag them in with a with a broom handle. Fantastic. Um, so, so the rest of the stuff you got, I mean, I'm assuming this, this is a bit of an old trek across the farmer's field, so I assume you're travelling quite light today compared to normal. Yeah, well, yeah, it is scaled down even for me. Uh, I don't tend to bring a lot of stuff any, anyway. Um, try and keep it fairly light. Most most fishing is just short short overnights and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So obviously everything's geared towards that. Um, so yeah, I've got the Chubb, it's the 55 inch oval, um, slightly smaller one that they do. Yeah. Again, just keeping the le weight down. Um, biggest thing with those is, is how quick they are to put up and down. Yeah. Uh, so, normal bivvies, you can you can get lighter bivvies, mm. um, but they do take long to put up and especially putting them down as well. That's dead easy, you can just throw it, throw it straight in. Yeah. Straight in the back. On, you just get your bed chair under nice and you're, you're all sheltered and it's good, yeah. it's good for getting into smaller swims with as well. Yeah, that's it, rivers, especially on rivers and stuff you don't know, you might just be fishing a hole in the bushes basically. Yeah. So that it's, it's a decent sized bed chair under it to be fair, that's one of the cloud nines. Yep, um, it's the three leg version I, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's, it's, Bit of a strange one for how big it is and how well padded. Mm. It's ridiculously light as well. It's it's got an aluminium frame. Yeah, so light, it, lightweight it's frame. A hell of a lot of, um, of of weight. That's it. So it's it's a proper. It's not a kind of one of those lightweight bed chairs that's short and you're kind of wrecking mm. your neck on it all the time. It's it's a full size bed chair, but the weight is is next to nothing mm. compared to a lot of them. Um, and, um, Staying on the Cloud Nine feature, so you've got the Cloud Nine um, sleeping bag as well. Yeah, yeah. That's the three season one again, keeping it light. I, cha I change it as soon as I can, um, as soon as it's warm enough to do it. This year, it's about a month ago probably it got changed, but yeah, um, long old winter this year. But yeah, I've got got the five season one as well for winter as well, yeah, so that again fantastic. fits fits straight on. So, so on the travelling light feature, what what sort of rod bag do you favour? Do you favour like a, a you know an all singing or dancing padded rod bag, or do you prefer something that's nah? Again, it's I've got one of the um, one there, one of the that's a new Vantage quiver. Um, again, use quivers pretty much all my carp in. Um, I just find sleeves and zipping stuff in, it just is pain and takes too long to do really. Yeah. Um, that you can just drop them straight on. It's it's easy to, to kind of change around what rods you're taking as well. You can just clip on whatever rods you need yeah. for, for wherever you're fishing. Yeah, you just put your, your spot and your marker rod on if, you, if needs be. Obviously in this yeah. sort of situation there's, there's, there's not a lot of call for a spot rod. So Yeah, that's it. I've just got that in a, in a separate sleeve at home. So yeah. I've got one mod to do spot and marker. Yeah. Uh, do it both with one mod most of the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with that, it's got enough room. We've got one of the flotation slings in there. Yeah. Um, probably and everything fits in the main compartment. A couple of rods on the outside, landing it in there. A couple that's of anchors. That's good then. So you've literally got, you know, you've not got a separate bivy or anything like that. You've just got. Yeah, every, everything fits in there. Um, it's actually, there is a fair bit of like padding and stuff. It's been thought about, obviously, all the straps that go, anything that's going across the rod has got a bit of padding on, so. Well, well that's it, you know, the, the, these days, you know, in this day and age with the rod sleeves and the, you know, the, the, the real um, protectors and everything else, you know, the, the quivers are just as just as protective as standard sort of rod holder. Yeah, that's it. I, personally, I just use it 
with uh, got some of the tip protectors. Um, you've got the little padded tubes on the bottom as well, which are the nice little touch to just stop stop anything that and getting getting crushed or anything like that. So it's it's enough. Obviously, you've got to be got to be aware of of it. You've got rings exposed, so you can't mm. chuck it round altogether. But just sitting on top of a barrel, it's not going to going to come to any harm or anything like that. No, fantastic. So. Well, thanks for sharing that with us, mate. All right, no problem.